Hatiku na lama bertitik nota Hey guys, I'm Amira. I'm a host, actress, and also a digital creator. I've recently graduated from Uni at Buffalo, Bachelor of Arts in Communication. So I see myself leading more towards this arts line. How I started my journey in this media industry, I would say when I first entered Elite Surya. It's a reality competition. Uh, that's where I met all of the other girls as well, Farah, Atika, Shika. It's a funny story actually, I don't really have much experience prior to that. I'm basically like always theory-based learning. I'm more of an arts person and I started learning communications. So while I was doing my degree, I realised that I want to pursue something that involves me being in front of the camera. To be honest, I o I've always had this passion or dream that I want to be in front of the camera. I wanted to become a singer at first. So after I entered Elite Surya, I realised that I actually do love to host, to anchor a show and it's bittersweet memories. In Elite Surya, I, I emerged um, as the first runner. My, my, my breakthrough is Missy Gaia, which is a travel log that brings me to Japan, Indonesia, Malaysia whereby I get to experience different cultures there and how they, they have different activities to save the environment. So besides hosting, currently I'm actually more involved in acting. Um, it's a new industry for me actually because I have no prior experience to acting. But I'm still learning, I'm actively learning online and I've always, you know, when I go to sets, I ask uh, the cast, the more experienced cast around me, you know, tips and tricks on how to be more involved in acting. And I'm more available after graduation for acting and hosting. So if you want to hit me up, so just give me a please. <laughs> I'm also a digital creator for um, for a company whereby I need to produce collaterals for marketing purposes, um, a little bit of video editing here and there. Versatility. I feel like I really want to achieve this. I want to be versatile in both hosting, acting, basically an artist, being a versatile artist. I want to try to, you know, be more involved in entertainment hosting and also um, info ads, so on and so forth. And in terms of acting, I aspire to, who knows, someday to achieve a main role for a drama series. Beyond that, I do aspire to become an entrepreneur whereby I get to, you know, have my own business, have my own company, maybe in the digital creation line. Yeah, that's something that I really aspire a lot and I'm still learning. Number one, I love to sing. Tiaraku mencari sebarang pemayang lagi. I sing in the bathroom, I sing in my room, I sing while I'm cooking. Basically, anywhere when I'm alone. I don't really have the confidence to sing in front of people yet. Number two, I love to travel. I'm lucky enough that I have been to different countries and a few of my favourite cities are London. Oh, don't get me started with New Zealand. I love Queenstown so much. And then um, I would say uh, there's this small city in New Zealand called Kaikura. I love it. The sea is so beautiful. And I love Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam as well. My third hobby is watching movies. Especially thriller movies. 
I'm like all in for all the suspense, mystery, crime, all those gore. Okay, actually I'm quite afraid of gore but I love to watch it. Because it kind of pushes me to, you know, watch and challenge myself if I can stand that movie. So if you have any recommendations, do let me know. Comment or DM me, okay? Fun facts about me. Hmm. Okay, I guess the first one would be I used to be a dancer for 10 years. Yeah, that long. Before I get myself involved in a martial art, uh, which is Silat. Um, some of the genres that I've learned are Malay traditional, Malay contemporary dance, hip hop, and jazz. I think I'm quite a fidgety person. I cannot sit in one spot with the same position all the way because I like to you know, express myself with my hands and then like, I cannot sit in like, this position all the way. You know when, I was, uh, when I'm in cinemas, sometimes I would put my leg on top of the chair. Yeah. Third fun fact is... Oh my god. I used to be in the drama club for one week back in secondary school. A few days um, learning about acting and one day as a crew. And then I just feel like, nah, it wasn't for me. But right now, I'm regretting it big time because I really want to learn the art of acting. <laughs> Guide Mu by Imran Ajmain. Usually I listen to English songs even though I speak a lot of Malay. But I just feel that this song is just a song that I listened to when I was younger up till now. It's still relevant up till now. The, you know, the mysterious jazz vibe. Work hard, play hard. Because I feel like you have to put in your best effort, your heart and soul to it in everything that you're doing, everything that you're pursuing, and then reward yourself with every milestone that you have achieved. Then you will feel that success, that little success. It's not so much on the destination, rather it's more of the journey that you are experiencing. So that's basically what that sums up my whole entire life.